All right, quarks. You've never had an isolated quark. So as you pull two quarks apart, you're actually putting energy into the system by doing so, like pulling a rubber band apart. And at the point where the quark connection breaks, there's enough energy you just put in so whole new quarks are created. So now you have two pairs of quarks. Now have a quark pair falling into a black hole. It's nearing the singularity, tidal forces stretch it, putting energy into it. It splits, makes two pairs of quarks, and they keep falling in. Will this create a quark catastrophe? Because the tidal force will continue to split the quarks and make a new pair of quarks. Will the singularity be overridden with quarks that were created from the tidal separation and the formation of brand new quarks in the energy that was invested in it? Am I taking energy out of the black hole by making quarks with it? What's going on there? I'd rather think of it as a, as a not, I want to think of it as a quark catastrophe because that's way more fun. I mean, you're not, you're not taking energy out of the black hole because all this is happening inside the horizon. Uh, yeah, for a big black hole. Anyway, I mean, I suppose you could say for a micro black hole. Where the where separation the is on the same is, scale yeah. Yeah. of that. But, uh, oh, so, okay, but wh why don't I just make a, a bajillion quarks as it falls towards the... Well, you, I mean, it's, it's a, I've never thought of it before. It's a beautiful picture. Yes. Because clearly you, you'll do that. You rip matter apart. That's the way it's usually said. Mm -hmm. So people just say matter, everything gets ripped apart, even yes. the protons and neutrons and even the quarks get ripped apart when you go to the singularity. But to um, rip apart a quark has consequences. Yeah. And we, we don't know what we don't know what the singularity is. I mean, other than it, it looks like a moment in time. It looks like the end of time, which we've discussed before, I think, which is also uh -huh. a difficult thing to think about. So there's a finite amount of time in there for the for the quarks themselves when they're inside the. Ooh, you know that's I mean? a way, out, that's of that way out of that. But, yeah. um, or wait, just I mean, to be I clear, I, wait, was that what Penrose said? Because as you cross the event horizon, what was previously in front of you in space is now in front of you in time. Because Jana, we had Jana Levin here. She's yeah. our our resident, you know, up the street uh, cosmologist. Yeah. So the time in front of you is finite. So yeah. it can't keep splitting quarks forever. 